What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another layout update. First off, I just want to thank all you guys for the 200 subscribers that I've now achieved over the past few years. And hopefully I can keep getting more subscribers as I go along. Um, I'm really glad for the support that I've gotten over the years and hopefully I can keep going. And I will keep getting videos out to you guys. Alright, so first off in front of you you have a SW1000, I believe. So that's what it said on the box when I got it. So I'm assuming that's what it is. It was painted up in a Canadian Pacific scheme. The paint was kind of going bad, so I decided to strip it. And I'm going to repaint this as a Virginian SW1000 switcher. Um, as you can see on the cab of the locomotive, it has a St. Clair antenna. I'll just grab something to point that out with. It has a St. Clair antenna, and it also has a 3 trim brass horn. And as well as a wide window cab. So hopefully I'll be able to paint this up in the Virginian scheme, which will help run on the Heritage Railway that I'm going to have on the layout, as well as the um, Virginian SD70A status North Fork Southern has now made. I'm not sure if it's an ACE or if it's an M-2, but either way, that's one of the locomotives I'm going to be getting in the near future, as soon as some of my other engines come in. And as you guys know, there's two Jeevos coming in and one Gen set as well as now I'm going to be get, receiving a Santa Fe Dash 9 uh, more bonnet and I'll be hopefully be having that up in the next video I'll hopefully also have the Jeevos and the ACE back as well because that has been sent off again to be fixed for a lighting issue the ditch light on the right hand side has burnt out and I'm not too happy with that it's happened again and it's just ridiculous I can't it's I don't even know what to say to it anymore. Alright, so moving on. Um, this is not got a decoder in it or anything yet. I've just re removed a lot of the parts so I can actually use it. So, moving on down here. I have the CSX switcher out. And I'm trying to figure out what exactly is the problem. I mean, the wires... One of the wires is binding with it when I go around the corner. When I took the shell off of the locomotive, it runs perfectly fine, but... I want to put the shell back on, it doesn't, so I'm trying to figure out what's wrong and whether I can secure the wires in such a way that it doesn't cause any problems. So other than that, that's slowly going to be solved, so let's just move this out of the way and we'll show you one more thing and then I'll get to some of the track stuff. And some of the track is still pretty dirty right now, so. So I finally got this back from Awesome Railfan and I must say it's very well done in my opinion. I've finally got a clear coat on it. Very, <laughs> very good. I really like it. I'm gonna let him go crazy on the rest of my rolling stock. Sorry about that. The wheels are done as well. They kind of have like the metal shine on them as well. They look really well rusted. And there's just so much rust and detail that he did. I'm really impressed with it. And he did the same deal on the other side of the reefer. I was hoping to get a weld weathered card and this is it. This is probably the best weather card I have. It's far better done than the one I did. Even did rust over the um, reefer unit. See if it focuses for you guys. Nope. So yeah, that's all of the stuff that's going on for rolling stuff and locomotives and everything. And let's move on to over here. I'm going to disconnect the camera here. So I have decided to try and redo a lot of the track here. I haven't completely taken it apart but as you can see I took out the bridge and the track that runs down here and it's all the way down to the turnout that I've taken it out. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm actually gluing the cork down to the foam so it doesn't actually shift when I attach the track to it which will hopefully get me a better curve. And as you guys know, I soldered the track together for the bridge, and the track's just over there, and I'll go over there in a second. And hopefully when I finish that, that'll look really good when it's done. So let's head over here. So today I had some time to solder some more track together, so I started assembling the curve. And it's not really the best job. I mean, this section of track on the, on the closest to you is done perfectly good. 
but the farthest one kind of needs to be redone because the joiner slid up as I was soldering it so I have to heat it up and slide it back down and hopefully that'll look good in the future and as well as I need to solder these joints together when I get the track back down and this side needs to be taken apart and I need to put on the proper transition joiners and hopefully I'll have the trains to be able to run over that smoothly one thing I'm thinking of doing is I'm not gonna I'm thinking about not putting in these supports although they will look realistic um, I kind of want to be able to run three axle locomotives on here because this will be able to go up for an expansion so hopefully I'll be able to do something like that I can probably twist these upside down or something I'll just glue it on from here down to this end and same deal with the other side but I'll see where that goes and I'll get back to you guys on it as soon as possible so um, at other projects I've kind of put the dash 9 on the back burner for now it's kind of blurry I know sorry about that there we go so that's been kind of put on the back burner because I've had a lot of projects I need to finish um, these coal cars need to be finished I mean I got a lot of them on the rails but some of them have flaws and I need to fix them I mean they're simple flaws so weight just need to be secured properly as well as some of the these pieces as well need to be put in properly um, what I was doing at first was I was gluing them up at the top here and that worked fine but I don't know why I stopped so I just started putting it on the metal and then putting the plastic on top and that didn't really give me good enough connection it didn't glue properly so all those cars have now had to come off and as you can see there's quite a few of them and I'm hopefully gonna put those back together properly and they'll be back on the layout as soon as possible and I still have like one more to finish or two more to finish completely and then or three more to be exact but other than that those are good Still working on building some of the Osborne model kits. I mean, I got the rail stops there that are going to go on the end of each yard track. And as well as, as you can see, I got this other elevated section done. And as well as I've purchased a turnout. And I've been slowly working out. I mean, I cut off the each end pieces so it looks more realistic. And that is going to go just about somewhere along here. Right about there. So the track is going to become a double main line or sorry double that's going to feed the coal mine as well as serve to an expansion and i will keep you guys posted on that i've got the other section cut there i've just got to get around back there and cutting it and putting it on there so hopefully within the next few days i'll have that up and i will post a video on that hopefully on sunday when i also have the santa fe locomotive so that is about it for this layout update guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and stay tuned for more layout updates, and thanks again for the support and everything you guys have done. Alright, peace out.